Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless, and today I'm going to show you how to do a portrait pattern like this one, so let's get started. The first thing I did is I created a square document, and next I am going to stock photos, and I typed in portrait in Unsplash, and I think this one, I like this one right down here, so I am going to drag it in and let it go in there. And photo is by Matilda Koo, as you can see right here. So I did Control or Command minus to zoom out, and now I'm going to bring this photo in to where I think I want it to be as a square photo. And I kind of think right there is what I'd like. Let's go back to Control or Command zero, and what I'll do is go back to my layer. And I am going to right click and say rasterize and trim. What that means is it will no longer be a large photo that will extend past the canvas. It'll just be part of the canvas. So I'm going to right, do right click and do rasterize and trim. So next what I'm going to do is do file, export. And I'm going to export it as a JPEG in high quality. So export. And I will put it in my pattern thing, and I will call it a woman pattern. How's that? So that's that was easy. Now the next thing I'm going to duplicate this, Control or Command J. I'm going to desaturate it by going to HSL and desaturating it. And then I'm going to, again, go to Adjustments. No, I'm sorry. I'm going to select that and go to Effects, Gaussian Blur, and I want to blur out everything, any of the sharp details. And I'm thinking that looks pretty about right for me. Depending on your photo, you can choose any amount. I did 19.3. And once again, I'm going to save. And I'm going to go File, Export, JPEG, Export. And I am going to call this one Displace. There we go. So we're done with that one. I can even delete it right now. In fact, I won't delete it just in case I don't, just in case I have problems with it and I need to redo it. I'll just keep it here and I'll change the blur. Now that we have that, go back to the top layer and then do Layer, New Fill Layer and change the fill from solid to bitmap and look for that bitmap that you just created and I called it woman pattern and say open and right here I'm going to go directly across I'm not going to go up or down because that'll change the angle and I as I go across you can see I can get it bigger and bigger and I am going to kind of try and find what I think might work I could change this later if I need to Oops, see how I went on an angle? You might want to, but I didn't want to go on an angle. That's a little too small for me. Let's try maybe there. And I am going to turn that. I want to just see it on top. I'm not going to keep it this way yet. I'm going to change it just so I can see where the pattern is. And I think that's a little bit better, that, that amount of pattern. So let's go back to normal. And I'm going to rasterize that layer. So now this is a pixel layer. Touch the pixel layer, go back to soft light. And now I'm going to touch the pixel layer, go to live filter here, go to displace, and I want to choose the bitmap I just put in there. Remember the black and white that I called it displace? And that's what I'm going to choose. And we're going to move it around. You see how you see how it's moving on the nose and the lips and whatever? So you decide. Actually, I'm thinking we need to really scale this, this particular one up quite a bit. It depends on how many pixels. This is a 300 DPI, so you might not have to scale it so much. But I'm kind of liking that. I like the way it goes around the nose right here. I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to group that layer and then add a mask to it. 
And on that mask, I am going to take a paintbrush, hit D to make sure I have black and white, and a soft brush. And with black, because black hides the mask, I am going to like get a close up. And with a very soft brush, I don't think I want it in her eyes, like there. I'm just tapping a little. And whoops, let me undo that. And I want to make sure my, my brush is soft. I'm sorry, I just had the wrong size brush. Mm -hmm. So now with the soft brush, I'm going to tap in there and get some of that out. Anything else that I want to get out? I don't think I like it on the hair. So I'm going to get rid of it on the hair. There's no reason to put it on her hair right here. So I'm going to just get rid of all that. Let me back out a little bit. Control or Command minus. And I'm also taking it off, I think, her, her scarf. I don't think I like it there either. And I'm doing this very quickly. You should be more careful. But I'm kind of not liking it right on the scarf. So I'm just going to, I'm just wiping it. It's like erasing it. So the mask is taking it away. I do like it on the background though. So I think this is looking pretty good. And for a quick tutorial, I mean, you should do a lot more work on it. But the last thing I think I want to do is I think I'll add some noise. So we'll add noise to this. And that noise needs to be on top of everything. And I'll get a little bit of close up so you can see what I mean. And I think I'll make it a color noise. So if I went all the way, that's really bad like that. But if you take just a touch of noise like this much maybe I'm not even I'm I'm gonna go maybe six six or seven percent it kind of gives it a nice feel I like the feel of it and I think that's it so if you like this tutorial I would really appreciate you hitting the subscribe button and the like button and have a great day bye